Good day, Saviors. GH here. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing to you guys my top 5 favorite builds in Tree of Savior. These are the builds that I like. It's not in a particular order, and I'll be showing one on each class tree. And with that said, let's do this. First off is Zealot, Monk, and Inquisitor. I like this build because it's a very good boss fighting build. And the burst damage capability is one of the best. And with Monk in the mix, it's even more fun to play with because I like spamming energy blast on challenge mode. All in all, this build is pretty useful for raids. AoE capability is good. It's not just strong, it's also fun to play with. If you want to see a full video about this build, it's on the description. Second class build is Assassin, Sheriff, and BM, Bullet Marker. It's a relatively new build, it can deal with almost everything in the game, single target DPS is great, AoE is good, mobility skills are present, and you have a lot of iframes in this build. And most of all, in my opinion, pistol based classes are just cooler than the others. This is the build that I use for soloing in game content. All in all, in my opinion, this is the top scout build at the moment. You are equipped with almost whatever the boss throws at you. If you want to see a full video about Assassin Sheriff BM, it's on the description. Third class build is Hoplite, Dragoon, and Lancer. This is the build that I created in the new season server and it made farming raid bosses easier because this is the boss fighting build of the Swordsman class 3. The reason that I enjoy this build aside from I like Dragoon builds is I played the Blossom meta for a long time. And I'm starting to think that there's no other Swordsman class build and every time I go to this build, it's just a breath of fresh air. Fourth class build is Hunter, Tiger Hunter, and Musketeer. This is my favorite build in the Archer class 3 because it's funny. It's not an archer. <laughs> just joking. I like this build because it doesn't require much in terms of gears. Because the base capability of this build is just so strong that you don't even need crit rate in this build. It's arranged in a way that even if you have a low crit rate, you're still gonna crit. It's pretty awesome. Although I must warn you, the AoE capability sucks. All in all, if you want a build that doesn't require much at start, you just need to know how to use it. This is the build. If you want to see a full video about this build, it's on the description. And here we are at the final build. It's Shadow Mancer, Warlock, and Featherfoot. Okay, by now you probably know that I like to solo bosses. And this build is arguably the best when it comes to killing bosses. Plus, it's equipped with spells that can get you out in a bad situation and defensive spells that can help you survive attacks. What more can you ask for? It's the build at the current moment that I'm trying to set up for the next generation. And I hope IMC won't nerf this build. If you want to see a full video about this build, it's on the description. And that's it guys, my favorite builds in the game. How about you? What's your favorite build in the game and why? Share it to us in the comment section down below. And if you like the video, hit the thumbs up, share, and then subscribe to be part of the Gaming Hardcore family. And as always, this is Gaming Hardcore. See you in the next one.